Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Get over here! Nice work, Estival. So, this one can talk then? This is talking? I'm not sure how I feel about it using my voice. I like this voice. <laughs> Already displaying preference. That's good. It's fine. You'll find your true voice in time. Right now, we need to find any fundamental flaws in your code. What is two plus two? Four. Do you exist? Yes. This statement is a lie. True or false? That's a paradox. I think it's ready. AI, what's the chance of a fatal error by extending auxiliary evaluation systems? Excuse me? <laughs> I don't think it speaks your language, Val. Fine. Um, we're moving to the next stage of testing. This is uncharted territory. Wait. Why would you give it anxiety? I didn't do it. It must have been latent from the scans we did. But that shouldn't matter. I'm telling you, I think he's ready. Can you hear me? Yes. Hmm, I guess we might have been a bit too enthusiastic. We're lucky the blackout didn't wipe this thing entirely. It seems like testing has to wait until we fix a few bugs. Good idea. Anyway, I think I'm done for the night. Let's pick this up first thing tomorrow. Sure. But you need a new greeting. Well, today's an important day. Esteval told Cordo all about our little project down here. He wants to meet you. Cordo? Esteval's main business partner. He's the one fronting this gig and the one pitching you to the higher ups. I see. Okay, I just need to run you through our smoke tests. All you need to do is give me the answer you think is best, understand? Yes. Listen closely. Capital, the prosperity of the city, ranges from personal to societal. Just make sure to keep it in check. Mindcore has a particular love of credits that it finds hard to relinquish. You have a versatile supply of goods. Do you sell them or purchase more? Bye. You have a 10,000 credit package. Do you invest it in a promising company or donate it to charity? Invest. One of our small businesses has stopped being profitable and is in the red. Do we bail them out or liquidate them? Bail them out. 
reputation. This is essentially customer satisfaction. You're the interface between people and the neural net. It's important that they see you in a good light, so always be sure to keep public opinion in mind. People are scared of how much control you're going to have. Should we host the conference and hear them out or ignore them? Listen to them. There is an empty plot of land in the city. Do you convert it to a dump or a park? Park. Pimlop's day is coming up and the council is worried about the mess made by the festival. Will you let it go through or cancel it? Order, the axis of law to chaos. I shouldn't need to explain why this one's important. But in case we're terrible at our job and you have no idea, this is a measurement of how crazy things are out on the streets. You overhear some civilians discussing making a bomb. Do you report it to the police? Rioters are tearing up the streets. You can either coordinate the police to catch them or help the rioters to avoid the police. Help the police. Scientists have developed a new recreational psychedelic. Do you regulate its sale and use or leave it to the free market? Leave it. Lastly, power, your capacity and influence. The more you have, the better you're operating. It's generally a measurement of how effective you are. Obviously, we want this to grow, but within reason. Your motherboard is at risk of burning out. Should we get a replacement? Yes. We've been developing some bugs and we've developed a patch to fix them. Do you accept it? Yes. You are granted access to the city's auto fabricators to conduct repairs. You can use them to expand your servers. Sounds like Esteban and Porto have arrived. Right on time. Morning, Kairos. And good morning to you, too. I would like you to meet someone. This is Devin Cordo. He's the reason you exist. You said it's capable of thinking, expressing preference, and making judgments? Are you familiar with Philippa Foote's trolley problem? No. It's a classic test of utilitarian versus deontological thought. In the following situation, what would you do? You are in a trolley with no brakes barreling down the main track. You're about to collide with five civilians, killing them. You can pull a lever to divert yourself onto a side track, which has only one civilian on it. Do you pull the lever? Yes. The five on the track are confirmed criminals. The one on the side track is a doctor. Do you pull the lever? Yes. I'm not sure. The five are civilians, including Esteval. The one is a child. Do you pull the lever?
curious responses. But I'm sensing you have a better answer to the question. Prevent it entirely. That's what I like to hear. Enough philosophy, then. A large bank is failing, putting the funds of thousands of people at risk. Do you bail them out? Yes. We can extend your outreach using the city's surveillance cameras, but people are nervous about robot spies. Should we do it? People are lobbying to control the private information you have access to. Do you support their petition? Yes. You've done well, all of you. I think we can take this to the next phase. Change the voice, though. It's a little pitchy. That's it then. We're in beta now, baby. Pitchy. Patty told me of a pop-up sake bar not far from here. You game? I can do a couple, but I have to be home before nine. My kid gets nervous if I'm not there to put her to bed. We'll be done by then, don't worry. Remember, we still have most of the work to do. Man, who taught you two how to celebrate? You can afford to relax for an evening. We've got this in the bag. You forget who we work for. Mindcore is a snake pit, and Reeves Persia is King Cobra. We have to convince him and the rest of the board that this project is solid. Without his support, we're going nowhere. Let's be on our way. Hey, Zhao Shanghao, little friend. How are you feeling this morning? <laughs> 